Hello, everyone. It's another evening of frank conversation here on Hard Coffee. I'm Maokwe Ogun Yusuf. On the 29th of May, just a couple of days ago, Nigeria marked 19 years of unbroken democratic rule, the longest she's had since the return of democracy in the Fourth Republic. While a lot of Nigerians congratulated themselves and listened to the traditional speech of the president on that day, the deeper question for many of them is whether their democracy is truly working and is delivering a term that is now cliche in Nigerian politics, the dividends of democracy. The question deserves even deeper introspection in the face of warnings and complaints from political leaders. For instance, this week, the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, sounded a note of warning asking Nigerians not to take their democracy for granted. Here's what he said. I am hopeful for the future, but as we do that, we should not take our democracy for granted. We must work hard, because as I said, it is fragile, it is very fragile, and it builds on us to ensure that we strengthen it. Now, others seem to be on the side of the Speaker of the Abia State House of Assembly, who is quoted as saying, the democracy as being practiced in Nigeria today is not true democracy. Democracy in Nigeria is sick. It is malfunctioning. Rule of law is not being observed. The principles of democracy are being violated. And that's why I said it's malfunctioning. End of quote. Tonight, however, I ask two gentlemen, Dr. Joe Abba, a former Director General at the Bureau of Public Service Reforms, and Dr. Ernest Ereke, a lecturer at the University of Abuja, whether we're truly on the path to El Dorado or we've lost the plot with how we've practiced our democracy so far. Well, gentlemen, you're welcome to Hard Copy. Good evening, Mokwe. Good evening. Good evening. It's good to see you. I'm going to start like this. Um, it's now 19 years, and I'm sure that when we were returning to democracy, you were excited. I don't know if I was very young then. I was still just about to leave secondary school. Um, but I remember there was, there was a lot of excitement in the air, you know, about us leaving military rule and, you know, moving to a democratic experience. It's 19 years down the, la the line. Would, how would you say that we've done so far? Is this what you thought it was going to be when we were exiting military rule in 1999? Is it what I thought it was going to be? No, I thought it would be different. Um, however, I, th I think we need to always start with definitions. What, what is this democracy we talk about? It's, it's basically uh, government by the people. Um, yes, Abraham Lincoln expanded that and said it's, it's government of the people, by the people, for the people. But um, you can actually have a democracy that is not for the people. So, you know, you can, you can argue the definitions in different ways. But Democracy loosely has four key attributes. Uh, the first is the freedom to choose your leaders and to do that through free, fair, and credible elections. Um, if you had asked me before 2011, I would have said we don't have that. Um, now, I think our elections are getting free and fairer and more predictable. Uh, so on that one, our, our, scores, uh, our scores are above 50%. Then the next attribute is the ability to participate in civic and political life, which we can. Um, of course, there are a few impediments, like uh, the one that was recently removed about the, the, the age of the youth. So, to take part, but largely people can participate in civil life. If I get and, you and correctly, what seems life. to have happened to you? I mean, even though you admit that this was not where you thought we would be mm -hmm. in 1990, I mean, 19 years down the line, mm -hmm. you thought it was going to be different. It would seem that what you've had to do is sit and introspect and mm -hmm. say, well, is my cup half full or is it half empty? And for you, you seem to be trying to fill it up in a little bit and saying, it's not so bad, it's not so bad. Is, is that the impression? Is, is that uh, it? Well, there, I've identified two areas. Yes. There, there's a further two. One is the rule of law and the equal application of the rule of law to everybody. I'll say we don't have that. Uh, our, our police still don't respect uh, human rights in the way that they should. People still get paraded on, on TV against the Constitution and against what the Supreme Court has, has ruled. So half of it 
yes, we, we, we are modeling along. The other half, we're not. So it's, it's a 50-50. Mm. Is it 50-50 for you, you Dr. Ereke? Uh, well, somehow for me, I think it's a mixed bag because... Um, and what proportion? You, yes, <laughs> well, I can't really say, but except when we begin to analyze and look at what we have achieved and what we haven't achieved. Because uh, I say it is a mixed bag because when you look at where we left in 1999 and where we are today, I want to say that most Nigerians prefer where we are today to where we left in 1999. Are you sure? Yes, of course, because well, the saying has it that the most benevolent uh, military regime is not better than even the worst kind of democracy. As uh, Dr. Abba said, there are a lot of freedoms, rights, and privileges that Nigerians enjoy today that we didn't enjoy before now. The stories are there, the, the history books are there for Nigerians to look at. and uh, and. and you know, find out and discover that where we left in 1999 and where we are today, we are better off where we are practicing democracy with all the challenges. And then, of course, the challenges are not insurmountable. We can, of course, surmount these challenges that the Nigerian democracy is beset with. And then, of course, again, if you look at the history of democratic experience in Nigeria, starting from the First Republic, it only lasted for about five years. Second Republic lasted for only about four years. Today we are talking about 19 years of unbroken civilian or democratic rule, if you want to talk. Yeah, but some people 